Hi, Stuart. Um, having battled to get yourselves back into that contest in the first half, having a chance maybe even to take the lead, how disappointing was it the manner in which France then were able to kind of stretch away in the contest? Yeah, very disappointing for us. I think at times we created some good opportunities. I think in the, the first half we let two uh, try scoring opportunities um, let them go. Uh, and then defensively at times, um, you know, France got good momentum and I managed to score on the back of it. I think, you know, the the thing for me is we can they let a team like France get on the front foot, it's very, very difficult to to, to stop them. But um, you know, I think certainly two, maybe three of the, the, the first tries that they scored um were very, very good, but they were from our mistakes and that's the thing that's that's most frustrating. Give us a, a flavour of what the, the feeling is amongst the, the, the guys in the in the dressing room after that. Yeah, it's it's a horrible feeling. I'm not going to lie because we want to be in a position to give ourselves, um, give everybody, like, give a true reflection of what we're about. And at times we we showed that, uh, but just unfortunately not enough. And I think we talked a lot about staying in every single moment of the game, winning, you know, a huge amount of moments as as much as we possibly can. And you know, at times uh, we've done that and we looked dangerous, we got in the right areas, we had a clinical edge uh, and other times we unfortunately just let it slip a, a little bit too easy but it, it is a horrible feeling, you know, we've, we've spoken a lot in the in the changing room about how we're feeling about what's what's needed to, to go into the last two weeks of the Six Nations um, and yeah, like it's a horrible feeling right now but the worst thing for me is we have to wait two weeks until we play again um, and that's the thing that I know I speak on behalf of everybody involved in this squad that we'd love to play it late tomorrow. Is it fair enough to call it a, a reality check? Um, no, I think for us, we just need to keep concentrating on ourselves. I think at times we, um, we, we, we show what we're about, but we just need that in, you know, for, for 80 minutes. I know it's, we kind of say the same things, but... Um, you know, that, that's the difference between winning and losing Test Match Rugby. And we need to be in a position to to win most moments in the game, play in the right areas, make sure we have a clinical edge, we we stand firm defensively, we don't allow um, you know teams too much uh, momentum. Um, but look, yeah, there, there's not much more I can say on that at the minute because that's how we're feeling and that's, that is what's, what's happened in front of us today.